and hopefully I got the look together. Hey y'all, it's your girl Just Jen and I'm back with another video. Welcome to the party. Um, so this is just as the title of this video, you can see it's a get dressed with me, get ready with me, little chit chat. Um, I'm just gonna do my hair, my makeup with you guys and kind of talk a little bit and more so y'all just see. But really quick, um, I am headed out. I am going to see Janae Aiko. Aiko? I don't know how to ever say her last name, but I'm going to see Janae tonight. She's going to be in concert along with Coco Jones. So I'm trying to get my look together. Um, I will post like a picture of my vibe that I'm trying to go as. I'm trying to be, um, try to recreate a Jada Waita look. So y'all pray it comes together. So as y'all see this look that I posted, I'm trying to recreate that somehow, but like kind of in my own way, my own style. I want to do a sleek back ponytail. Um, and as y'all know, your girl cut her hair into a bob. So let's see if I can do this. And y'all, for some reason, I freaking lost my... Um, like edge brush that I use, used to use all the time. I don't know if it like fell out of my purse one day or what. So I had to steal my mom's kind of brush. And so I'm gonna see if it's gonna slick your girl hair back cause I gotta get this tight and right for this little ponytail look. Um, so that's the plan. Yes, that I'm gonna do my hair in a ponytail, slick ponytail. And then, um, I'm going to get dressed. So Janae will be performing in Oakland. So I'm driving to my friend's house. Um, I'm going with her. She lives out there already. So that will be a separate vlog of me going and heading to the concert. So right now it's just to get ready with me, a little chit chat um, and kind of check on how I've been doing. Cause I feel like I haven't really talked to y'all in a while. I don't even know. It's just been, I don't know what it's been. It's been busy, y'all. But um, I don't know. I've just been busy with trying to get things in order. I have kind of slacked off on my social media for a little bit. But your girl is back active. As y'all see, we are doing Vlogmas, or at least trying to. And then um, I was texting my best friend yesterday. And we're trying to keep each other, trying to hold each other accountable for um, posting and staying active. So let's see what's been going on with me. I'm still working. My job has been getting on my last nerve. So I have been kind of actively... Well, I know when I say actively, use that loosely because it hasn't really been actively, but I've been kind of looking for other jobs or I'm interested in trying to look for other things. So that's your girl's goal going into the new year is to hopefully find um, other employment, at least till your girl blows up on YouTube. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just, my job has been stressing me out and it's like, life is too short to be fucking stressed at work all the damn time. I just really don't have time for it. So I'm over it. It's over. It's over. Now move over. And then let's see. What about the dating life? I'm not really dating right now. I'm just trying to get myself together um, financially, spiritually, emotionally, all of that jazz. So I'm currently just trying to get myself together before I um, 
try to do that and date and try to get serious. I know the clock is ticking. Your girl wants to get married and have kiddos, but uh, it's not looking too good, y'all. Not looking too good. Oh my gosh. I hate doing a ponytail because I can never get my hair right with like no lumps. My lumps, my lovely lady lumps. Check it out. It's so hard. Let's see. Because I got to get it right before I put this ponytail on. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so I haven't really been dating. Okay, that's that. Huh? I haven't really been like dating, dating. So that's been like blah. But your girl is... Um, well, I told you I was taking a break from like traveling because y'all know my last past few months, your girl has been like traveling nonstop, went to Vegas, LA, San Diego, Houston. So um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing for my birthday. Like more than half of my friends do not have passports. So I was thinking about asking if they would just want to go to Miami or something. Something cute and casual. Sorry, I'm looking at my mirror here. Um, but something like cute and casual like Miami. Look at my ponytail barely. <laughs> Ooh, you girl cut her hair. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe Miami for my birthday. I mean, I have been before, but that was years ago and all my friends could not go so my birthday is in february if y'all don't know so yeah that's my plan i was gonna probably text my friends on monday and see if any of them would be interested in spending a weekend in miami it's the summer in miami jail I kind of got your girl sleeped down, huh? That worked out. Talking to y'all, help a girl. You help your girl out. Look at my little pony. <laughs> so now that we got that, let me spray. This is the, oh, let me show y'all. This is the edge control that I use. And then I'm going to spray this on my hair to just keep from flyaways or anything like that. So this really works. I just spray it around. And then I just make sure it gets in there and holds. Cause I put my scarf on after I do my ponytail and then that tends to hold it down in place. So, so yeah, I'm thinking about doing Miami for my birthday because going out of the country just doesn't seem like that's gonna work. So, so ooh, this ponytail is, well, and this is not even a ponytail really, it's just some, um, I make it into a ponytail, but it's just like some hair. But y'all get the vibes. Um, y'all, I'm watching Love is Blind. Hold on. Now it's time to let this marinate while I do my makeup. Y'all, I'm supposed to be, my plan is to be out of this house by 3. It is 2.15, so... We will see how it goes, but I'm just finishing. My hair is all set. So I just need to do my makeup and then put my clothes on. So when I was asking y'all or um, making the comment about Love is Blind, I don't know if y'all have watched that show, so pretty much and in a nutshell, if you don't know what Love is Blind is, it's like people who are like in a situation in a house where, where they're like in pods and like the boys are on one side, the girls are on another. 
and they go in rooms and you can't see who you're talking to and you're like dating. So like the girl say I'm the girl and then I'm just, there's nothing in front of me but the guy's on the other side of the room. And the only connection you can get is from you guys connecting with your conversation. And then maybe after a couple of days, if you're like, oh wow, I love our conversation, like, I'm falling in love with this person or whatever, you want to get married, then the guy just proposes like <laughs> across the room, like, I want to marry you. Do you want to get married? Blah, blah, blah. And so every time you guys like talk, I don't know if they let them talk for like an hour or two, then you go back to the pod and you talk to the girls and stuff like, girl, I just met this guy, blah, blah, blah. So the reason I want to have the conversation is because one couple or people on there, um, this black couple, the guy's name is Uchi and the other girl's name is Aaliyah. And so she was falling in love with Uchi and Uchi was falling in love with her. And then this is weird because I don't think this has ever happened on the show where Uchi's ex-girlfriend is also on the show. And so like one day, like Uchi was behind you know the glass with his ex and they're talking and he's like introducing himself like hey my name is uchi you know blah 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 and then the girl just started saying oh you're a lawyer this this and that and he's like do i know you <laughs> and she was like uh yeah i'm your ex lydia and he was like what the heck and so i truly think that was the first time ever on this show that that has happened i don't know how it happened because that is weird as fuck so after they found out that they're there and like they're there with their exes, um, they had a conversation. Well, the girls had a conversation like Lydia told Aaliyah because Aaliyah's obviously like super in love with Uchi. And so to me, I kind of felt like Lydia was kind of like, she was playing with both sides. Like, girl, you can have him if you want to. Like, ain't nobody worried about him. But she also like would tell Aaliyah like, yeah, we had sex um, like two months ago or something like that. It's like, why are you telling this girl that? Like, that's not even necessary. So after like multiple different like conversations and interactions that Aaliyah and Lydia had, um, Aaliyah just made the decision to leave the show. Like she couldn't deal with, you know, being there with his ex and her always like, running back and telling her like, yeah, we did this. We were close to being engaged or that, you know, just like little stuff like that. She just couldn't deal with it. And so she literally just left the show without saying bye to Uchi or nothing. And so one day, or maybe like the next day, Uchi's like in the room waiting for Aaliyah to come in and like nobody's coming in. He's like, hello. And so then the producers like on the loudspeaker was like, oh, Uchi, um, Aaliyah went home. And he was like, wait, what? Why? You know, like he didn't know what happened. And so the producers were like, oh, do you want us to try to get her on the phone so you guys can have like a conversation on the phone? He's like, well, yeah, like I'm trying to figure out what happened. And so they get on the phone and she was like, yeah, I just, you know, Uchi, I love you so much. I just couldn't get over like Lydia constantly coming to me poisoning me with all this information about you and I just couldn't deal with it and he's like what like how could she let this girl get in between us like I'm in love with you I don't want to be with her blah 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 and she's like I just couldn't take it and all this stuff and then they kind of started getting into it he was just like well obviously you're not the person for me like if you can't deal with my ex being here when I'm telling you I want to be with you like Obviously, I wanted to be with her. I would be with her right now. And so they hung up. But this episode I was just watching was like, now all the people who have connected and whatnot, they're um, now like living together at this point. So they like got engaged. They went on a little trip or a honeymoon or like a trip. And now they're like living together in Houston. So everybody has like kind of seen each other now. And so... Um, now Uchi and Aaliyah has met up like just outside of the show, but it's being recorded. Like they went to a restaurant and sitting down and she's telling Uchi like, I'm still in love with you. You're the man of my dreams. Like mind you, this is their first time seeing each other. You're the man of my dreams. I'm sorry I left. But then the show just cut off and now I'm watching something else. But <laughs> I was 
just like, this is hella crazy. Like, what is going on? Like, I understand what Ali is like feeling like. I wouldn't want to deal with that either. Like, you're on this dating show or dating situation, and then the person you likes like X is there, and that's weird, and they keep telling you info about them and all of that. I wouldn't want to deal with that either. I'm gonna just be quite honest with you. But I don't know, I feel like if I was truly in love, I probably wouldn't have left or I would have told the guy like, hey, this is hard. You wanna just leave this show and date or like, you know, something, I don't know. Like the way she just left and didn't say anything, that was what got me like, girl, what is going on? But yeah, that show is super good. Love is Blind, it's off now. I'm behind on my shows, but that show is off now. Y'all gotta watch it if you haven't. It's hosted by um, Nick Lachey and his wife. So I really like that show. It's hard for me to talk while I do my makeup. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> or especially when I'm doing my eyebrows. But um, yeah, y'all, I'm super excited to go see Janae tonight. And also I think the opening act is Coco Jones, which I love her. She's been recently nominated for some Grammys. Yes, my fellow chocolate queen. Super shout out to Coco Jones. So I'm excited to see Coco Jones because I saw her. Um, she came out here um, in Sacramento to do a performance and she put on a good show. I really liked her. So I'm excited to see her. And um, I guess Janae must be singing her old stuff because she doesn't have nothing new out, so. I don't know, but I like Janae. I think I saw Janae in concert like one time and I was late, so I didn't even really <laughs> get to see her. So I'm excited, a little girls outing. We're supposed to go out to dinner for drinks or something before, because the concert starts at seven. So I'm trying to get to my friend's house by like four. So we don't have to rush, we can find a nice place and sit and chat and catch up. So I'm excited for that. But um, yeah, I don't know how this going to a concert in Hills is gonna go, but you know your girl gotta put looks together and get my vibes together, so. Period. But um, I just wanted to say hello and talk to y'all. But yes, I plan to um, do Vlogmas all December or until Christmas Day. Um, so make sure y'all tune in to all my videos. I'll also be posting every day on Instagram, some reels, and on TikTok. Um, hopefully every day of just different looks, me putting looks together, giving y'all a sense of my fashion. Um, because I love clothes, so your girl is planning to be active, y'all. Active, active, active. So um, that is my plan. Hopefully y'all can hold me accountable um, and keep me encouraged to keep going because please believe it is super hard to stay focused and to keep doing this. But um, I do have some, I hope good videos coming up because I do have a few plans that I want to do content days and figure things out. So I hope I get everything situated in order with that. Like even right now, I'm supposed to be besides filming for y'all on YouTube, I should be filming a get ready with me on TikTok. So I am about to turn my camera on for that in a minute. It is so hard, like that is to record on a phone for both YouTube and um, Instagram and TikTok. So I hope I'm able to get a camera by the end of this year so that I can just strictly record YouTube on my camera and then use my phone for TikTok and Instagram. So that is your girl's plan. Um, I asked for a camera for Christmas, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's my plan because that's what's also hindering me um, to keep going on TikTok is because half the time when I'm recording, I'm recording for YouTube and then I'm like, oh my God, I forgot. 
my camera and forgot that I need to be filming this way for TikTok and Instagram. I just be all over the place. So I'm like, forget it. I won't do TikTok today when I mess everything all up. So yes, I am planning to now be active on both and just <sighs> being diligent with it. And if it takes a little bit longer, like, oh my gosh, just to prep for this right now took forever. Cause I'm like, okay, first I had to, you know, take a shower, which y'all see I clearly did cause I'm in my robe, but I had to take a shower. And then it's like, okay, I have to get my outfits together and then I have to record. And then I have to take pictures after I get dressed. And then I have to do this by a certain time. So literally like back in the day, if I wasn't on YouTube and stuff, it would probably take me like an hour to just, you know, get dressed, get an outfit, and then um, do my makeup. Now, because there's so many steps, I literally need at least three hours. I have to prep three hours before I do anything. So that's my struggle. So like today, I knew I had to be out by three. And so by 12, I was like up and I'm still probably not gonna be ready. Well, I'm lying. I was trying to finish posting for today on YouTube. So I think I got up like 1230, but that's like two and a half, almost three hours having to be ready to leave. That is freaking ridiculous, but I do it for y'all. I do it for the vibes. And I'm always happy with the outcome. Like even yesterday, um, y'all saw that I went to um, I went to a funeral, but I also went to like Bath and Body Works and stuff for the candle sale. And I got so many compliments on my outfit and my look. And I was like, well, thank you because I truly did put in time to find what I was gonna wear um, to the funeral to make it cute, but still appropriate for a funeral but still stylish at the same time. And I feel like I did my job and then I feel good when I get compliments. So that just makes me happy. But now seeing that it is 2.30 and I have to literally be done in 30 minutes and that 30 minutes means finish my makeup, put my clothes or film for TikTok my outfit, um, pack my clothes up in a bag, but I already got my stuff like together and then um, get dressed in 30 minutes. But your girl did her eyebrows. They came out bomb. Just gonna make this one shorter. Okay. I am so like meticulous. Like my eyebrows gotta be on point. I cannot have them. And it's so funny, my best friend, so um, she was like, if you come over to my house tomorrow, my other best, my other friend, she was like, we gonna make a TikTok. I'm like, oh, perfect. Like, I make sure I got my stuff together for my TikToks. Like, we own it. I love that for me and my friends, that we all are just trying to be active and hold each other accountable. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm just gonna talk you guys through my makeup routine. So I'm not a big makeup person. I'm gonna just keep that real with you right now. Like I'm not a big makeup person, but I'm trying to learn as days go on. And I watch girls on TikTok. Um, doing soft makeup and things like that. So I'm trying, but I'm not just a natural yes makeup queen. So I'm learning. So first I start off with milk. Makeup by Mario, makeup by Mario.
All right, y'all, it's time to get dressed. All right, y'all, it is time for an outfit check. Ooh, I look bald headed. <laughs> so let's do an outfit check. So these sunglasses are from Amazon, I believe. This racer jacket, bomber jacket is from Pretty Little Thing. This black top I have is from Tarjay. The shorts are from, huh. Y'all, I will have to write where these shorts are from. I think they're from H&M or Fashion Nova or something. I don't know, sorry. And then my thigh highs, get into the thigh highs. They are from Forever 21, they're hella old. And then this bag is from Shein. But I will show y'all my inspiration from Jada Weta, and hopefully I got the look together. 